CM1 Magister. Um, or Fuck Fung Fugan, whatever. I, don't, I can't pronounce it. Anyway, I believe it was one of my aircraft. Um, I believe built in Germany. Like, it's, it's one of those aircraft that you would want to, um, if you want to know about it, go to Germany. Ask, ask around Germany. Hopefully, they should have some pictures or some photos of it. I believe it, it started there. Probably, maybe Poland, somewhere around in there, would, would be where you'd want to look. I mean, everything started with Germany. When I, I purchased it, and plus the best of the best, the best melody, the best everything, I'm not sure where the newest and best aluminum factory. I think uh, I think Germany did have the first aluminum uh, factory because I wanted to have everything in Germany. I was doing this whole, I was doing this whole Germany is mine, Germany LS Lucifer Star. Germany is mine, Germany is my country and I was upgrading Germany just pouring massive amounts all my money was going into Germany I was uh, Germany was Germany was like America Germany was going to be like civilization yeah anyway Berlin was an, uh, was a planned city the best basically drawn out there's models of every building I had hundreds of draftsmen working away going I had over 5,000 draftsmen just going working on the city blueprints and everything was being done just right in Germany, um, in Berlin. Um, everything was being planned. Everything was being engineered. Everything was Germany was 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 like the capital for engineering and design and everything. So I believe I had a aluminum manufacturer manufacturing plant in Germany first, but I think the biggest might have been in China. I'm not exactly sure where the biggest was. Uh, the the biggest aluminum manufacturing. I eventually did move and put a manufacturing aluminum manufacturing plant in what is the United what is America. At some point, but I believe it was Germany was the had the most amount. Well, Germany, Britain, Europe, basically around in that area was basically where the aluminum. I was I was basically doing that as well. I mean, I was mostly over there first and doing and I was basically doing that thing that that area first, and then later on I went to Mexico and then kind of up from Mexico into California and then kind of from both sides, kind of like pincer maneuver um, across across what is the United States. Um, anyway. Um, but that one jet, I believe that was um, probably actually more like r around 1930s, um, going on 1940s. Yeah, it would be about would be about right. That's about when I was doing that kind of stuff. Um, and I believe it is the baby little brother to what is now the U2 um, um, super high flying flying jet. Like the the U2 would be the big brother to that other jet. The the, the M the S the CM um, one seventy Magister. Anyway, that would be something that started in Germany and around in there. You know, like I said, German scientists were assisting the were working with the with the British scientists. You know, it was British English, and then later on with like Japan and or Chinese Orientals and um, and also Russians. Like I said, uh, there was a lot of scientists that that were unrecognized. Like like I said. The, the Chinese were there, the, Jap the, the Orientals were there, uh, they were a big part of my group. You know, we were all kind of like, there was a few of everyone w working within what is LS um, manufacturing or, or LC manufacturing. Not, um, anyway, uh, basically what, what is Lucifer White Star Lines company? Um, all the white ships, all the white aircraft, um, the, Ver the Volkers jet, the... Um, you know that those people, basically the, the ancient old people, the people who invented the plastic and all that other stuff. That was basically my group, my people, right in there. Um, mostly white people, not really too many black people. Um, they were, like I said, the black people were were kind of. Uh, I mean, there were some, and it's not like I was prejudiced. I I'm sure I had black people working for me too, but but the black people were doing kind of this whole like, you know, they, like I said. A couple, a couple um, Irish people found what would be basically the top black people or richest black people in the world, and like I said, they found them inside this mansion, and like they're having young girls, like sit on their lap, and they were like eating, and they were like tubbo large people, and they were 
talking about things or something like that. I mean, you'd have to talk to the IRA, the, the Irish Republic. They would, would they, they they found the black leaders or those people. I mean, I don't think they actually did much to them other than find out what they were doing or what they were ordering done. Um, like I said, my people were really more like research, find out, and then decide, not just go. F we didn't shoot first. You know, we found out what was going on and then we acted. Anyway, so um, so that's what's, uh, you know, that jet, um, like I said, uh, Nixon and a bunch of other people were, were and, and JFK were going to the people saying, we must, this is vital for the war effort. We have to have this stuff. We have to spend this money. And basically what, what they were doing is then they were going to what is Europe and they were coming to me and they were being like, I want one jet, please. And to me, I was like, okay. I guess. All right. So you'll be buying this. All right. And some of them were like, we have no money. <laughs> He's like, okay, well, I'll loan you some money. I mean, I was trying to kind of like start up America. I mean, start up the United States. I was trying, I was over there and I was kind of like trying to help out over here. And I was like, eee. and then later on, later on, they became a problem. And I was just like, all right, that's it. I'm taking it over. I'm buying it. <laughs> Give me your country. I'll write you a check. Um, and like I said, I spent $150 million for um, for Panama Canal on that side, and then I spent like $250 million basically for what is America, um, Deutsche Marks or whatever, and I basically bought the country. But the country was nothing more than just basically brambles and farm. It was called considered Farmville. In fact, people thought that, that the United States would never amount to anything. So there's nothing there but farm. And it's true. There's nothing here but farm. It was nothing. Like... Europe, everyone was like, Europe, Europe is everything. Every Europe has all the power. Europe, Europe is where all the manufacturing was. And I was kind of like, you know, manufacturing is when and where you start it. It really doesn't really matter. Um, I mean, you kind of start building and then you get some science underneath your belt. And then it's just one of those progress things. It just takes a little bit of time. And then, you know, with with a dedicated staff and everything else, you know, you, you get it pretty quick. So I was like, well, you know, I mean... I mean, and, and I mean, I was, I was more than half, like, 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 and then after I built Europe and everything and I had, you know, I, I found rubles or rubies in, in Russia. And so, and there's precious stones and we we're selling the precious stones and everyone wanted the precious stones or wanted this or wanted that, you know, that, that I was selling. I was like, mm, okay. And then later on, I was like, how much are your country? Yeah. And I was buying America. And then I was making America to be like the promised land. I was making America to be where it was all nice. Just like I did in Germany, in Europe. Except I was doing it over here. So, you know, and only not... You know, I kind of got rushed and I got in the middle of a war or something like that. And it's kind of... Eh, you know, so I mean, things were going one way and then they kind of like... And it got a little rough. So, rough. So anyway, yeah. Issues, you know.